Hello children, I am your geography teacher and today I will be explaining the second part of chapter 2 which includes overpopulation and underpopulation, the causes of overpopulation and the consequences of overpopulation and underpopulation. Before I proceed, you first need to know the meaning of overpopulation and underpopulation. Overpopulation means the excessive population in a given geographical area where the number of people surpasses the available resources that are required to maintain a basic standard of living. And underpopulation means the population of a geographical area is less in comparison to the available resources. That is, the available resources are present in abundance and are not completely utilized. Both large and small countries can be underpopulated and overpopulated. As long as there is overpopulation, the quality of life will decline through unemployment, pollution and degradation of the environment. With an increasing population, the basic amenities like food, shelter, clean water, etc. are not provided to the people. Now, we need to know about the different causes of overpopulation. The first one is migration. The term migration refers to the movement of people from one country to another. It raises the population. It is said that in developed countries, population increases. Why it increases? It is because of more employment opportunities and better standard of living. Sometimes they move to areas that are already under stress due to soil erosion and overgrazing. Homelessness, congestion and crime are the symptoms of an overpopulated city region. The second point is illiteracy. It is a very important cause of overpopulation. People who are uneducated, they fail to understand the need to prevent excessive population growth and they are unaware of the adverse effects of overpopulation. These illiterate people are not aware of the ways that can control population. Lack of family planning also leads to overpopulation. At some points, overpopulation might be referred to as an increase in human resources which means increase in the number of people will also lead to an increase in the number of productive hands and creative minds. On the other hand, more number of people requires greater number of resources, which leads to depletion of natural resources. The third point is poverty. Many poor parents, they produce children not only because they are ignorant, but because they need them. Poverty is said to be the cause as well as the effect of the population growth. Having produced many children to have sons, to combat one's family's growing needs, the parents are forced to keep them out of school to supplement their household income. The last cause is birth and death rates. I have already explained the meaning of birth and death rate in the first part. Now, how birth and death rate proves to be an effective cause of overpopulation? Due to improved technology, efficient healthcare and medical facilities, global birth rates have increased. Better healthcare 
also led to a reduction in mortality rates which causes a lot of growth in the overall population. Let's focus on the consequences of overpopulation. First one, the depletion of natural resources like food and water which intensifies to the lack of resources as consumption is faster than the rate of regeneration of resources. The second one is population explosion also causes environmental hazards leading to deforestation or loss of natural habitat as the demand for land increases. Industrialization and urbanization would increase the pollution level leading to global warming. Third one is overpopulation also puts strain on the economy and causes scarcity of jobs. The last consequence of overpopulation is undue usage of land and poor infrastructure lowers the quality of health and overall sanitation and hygiene. Before coming to the consequences of underpopulation, you need to stress on some facts related to underpopulation. The first one, the fertility rate in many developed and developing countries has dropped to about two children per woman due to literacy, economic development or urbanization. Second one is immigration. That is the movement of people going out of a country also leads to underpopulation. This is done with the intention of permanently settling in their destination. The last one is Disease and illness also cause the decline in the population. Famine, that is the scarcity of food, also caused due to factors like crop failure and disproportionate population. The last topic is the consequences of underpopulation. The first one, underpopulation adversely affects the economy as it causes deflation. A decline in the population leads to lack of demand. Second one, it decreases the pressure on natural resources and the basic infrastructure. Levels of pollution also decreases. Third one, decreased rates of procreation leads to an increase in the social and economic pressure on the youth who had to expand the per capita output in order to support the economy thereby leading to the poor quality of life for the youth and the last one is underpopulation also leads to shortage of labor which could have both the positive and negative effects with this, I come to the end of part 2. Thank you.